Hey guys, welcome to Howl's Design, and in this SolidWorks tutorial, we're going to explore more of the stress analysis stuff, this time with an extra layer of uh, adding a safety factor plot. It's a very important metric to analyze in your testing and validation just to get an estimate of where you might need to strengthen your part and make it uh, better from an engineering standpoint. So let's just go and get started then. Uh, you know the deal. We've got this kind of L-shaped bracket here made of 6061 aluminum. And we are going to fix these two holes over here, the counter sunk ones. And we have it set up where we can add a force in that direction, in the Y direction, just on this top half of the hole, because this underneath isn't seeing any pooling. Um, we could do a bearing load, but in this video, we'll just do a force. We'll do a bearing load in future videos. Um, all this stuff can get very complex very fast with nonlinear geometries and materials, but we're just going to keep it basic for the purpose of this video. So let's go ahead and add our fixtures. We are going to fix these holes here. these faces and we're going to add force in pounds working in English units on that top half and to get this split line we just did the split line feature so we can select that top face in a selected direction we're going to click this edge see the arrows are going in the Y direction. Change the units to English. And let's just do 500 pounds to start. Click OK. Now we've got our fixtures and input set up. Now we can run a mesh. We're just going to do a basic mesh little bit on the finer side hit okay now it's gonna look something like that got multiple nodes on the thickness which is good and now we can run the study So this is what it's going to look like in the deformed result. We can always turn that off if we want. It exaggerates how it's going to react to the force. And this is our Von Mises plot here. We've got some things to modify to make it more clear. We're going to change this. Well, first we're going to change the units. KSI. We're going to have our max at 45 because that's the tensile, ultimate tensile for 6061 aluminum. This will be zero. All right. You can see the displacement. Maximum of three millimeters. 
And then we're gonna add a new plot to look at the safety factor. So we're gonna go to, uh, where is it? Compare results. You get a results advisor, new plot, factor of safety. Hit okay. And to make it more clear, we're gonna set our mins and maxes. We'll set this to, I don't know, four and our minimum to one, because that's failure. And you can see in the red, that's all a safety factor of one, which means it's failing. And near the hole as well. So this will give us a good representation of where our weakest points are and where we can maybe uh, improve the thickness and strength of the part to make it stronger. So that's one way you can use the factor of safety to analyze your stress analysis results. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're going to have future videos on SolidWorks tutorials and check out howitsdesign.com for more content. Thanks.